Okay, yes. Yeah. So you look beautiful too. Thank I love the you. orange. It's so nice and summery. Are Thank you in Atlanta you. still? You're in Atlanta. I am in Atlanta, Atlanta. Yes, Free enjoying summer vibes. Yes. So you have you been enjoying the summer and everything? It went by so fast. Like I have three kids, so we still had another vacation plan. And then it was like they start school next week. Oh my Why? Gosh. Like yes. they've been in school since August, the beginning of August, August third, actually. So. Mm. It went by too fast for me. We we were enjoying um, just spending like family time, uh, traveling and getting our home. You know, we're finishing up our home renovations. So it's been busy, but definitely it's nothing like hot Atlanta summers. It's mm. amazing. I know. I visited a few times. I'm like, I love Atlanta. I could go back. I'm in New York, so. Oh, okay. You're in New Oh, we love mm -hmm. New York. Yeah. My husband's from New Jersey. So we spend a lot of time in New York. Love New York pizza. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yes. But I won't hold you. I don't want to, I know you're a busy woman. So I just want to, you know, ask you a few questions and okay. it's a privilege to, you know, get to know you or just even share this time. So Thank I'm excited. You. So, no problem. So congratulations. I know you've been on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta for two seasons, you know, and you've come out and to me, you're like one of the like best stars because you're relatable, you're real, you're still genuine, humble, authentic. And I love that. Like, a lot of times you see like reality TV changing people, but you seem to be very grounded and I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate when I'm like, thank you for seeing me because I am, I'm just here being my, the only way I know how to be, which is my authentic self. And that was why I joined the show because I've been an actress my whole life. So I literally wanted to do something different um, because people know me from the various roles I've played, but you don't get to see me as a mom, as a wife, as a daughter, you know, and what that looks like, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I just felt like after going through COVID and I was dealing with an injury, I was like, why not be vulnerable? Like people would never even know I'm dealing with this. And hopefully I can inspire people to keep pushing through whatever life throws at you, you know? And that was the reason why I came on. Um, and now I'm here. <laughs> so. There you go. Yeah. You actually like answered my like first question. So in terms of like having those expectations and wanting to come on to show, you know, like the full side of you, do you feel like, like being on the show has met those expectations? What has transpired that you didn't expect or what has it been like? I mean, you know, I'm not used to all the drama. Like I'm from Chicago, but I don't wake up and choose violence. So I was like, Listen, I mean, we do what we got to do to survive and stand up for ourselves, but dang, like this is harsh a lot of times, but I feel like overall, like, especially even in my marriage, um, reality TV does not make you divorce your husband or start having issues. We are dealing with issues that we have been dealing with before we came on the show. And I feel like for us, that was not our intention. We wanted to show black love and like how much we love each other. But then life happened. You film for five months. Yeah, you're going to like have an argument. And unfortunately, like we didn't plan on that, but it just was what it was. A production showed up. The cameras caught us exactly where we were, but it held us accountable because what we realized is that we don't want to show up in the world like this continuously, season after season. Um, that's why we're in counseling because we want to stay committed. Um, divorce for us is not an option. And I think that hopefully we inspire people to just do the work and we are here to show what the work looks like. Um, and that's basically it. We take our vows seriously. And it's one thing to argue with just you and your mate behind closed doors. But then it's like, when you're arguing in front of cameras and you forget that they're there and it's like millions of people watching, that's scary. So we definitely are like, we want to be better. We both want to be better and learn and grow. And that's, that's what we're choosing to do. That's perfect. Yeah. And so would you continue to, you know, stay on the show, knowing what you know, what you've experienced and continue to be vulnerable and let oh. your marriage be on the table? Be like halfway during we film and I'm like, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've quit so many times at this okay. point, but I feel like I'll know when it's my time, you know, and I feel like there's still so much more um, I want to share. I feel like people still haven't really gotten to know all different sides of me, especially my husband. They only see him as just the asshole that he can be. <laughs> he can be honest about it. We don't try to sugarcoat it. 
And I think he acknowledges the asshole that is him, but he is also funny. He is creative. He is musical. He plays the piano. He's God fearing. He's a great father, like so many other things um, and how we are able to partner in, in certain aspects in our life and our businesses. I, I want people to see that, you know, I want people to see how layered he is and how layered and colorful we are in our, our relationship and our family. So I just hope that people will continue to watch and continue to get to know us because I feel like this season people started to really see me, you know, and I, I really appreciated that. That was the intention. And the viewers are smart. They, they are starting to see the fake and they know what's real. And so I feel like for that reason, I would, I would stay for the fans. I would stay. I get that. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. So relatedly, yeah. um, tell me a little bit about your organization that your husband also has a company. I believe yours is Dream Makers. Yes, that's my nonprofit. Um, I launched Dream Makers in 2013 in um, Roseland, which is in the city of Chicago. And it, it's just a creative outlet for young kids to come um, and express themselves. And studies have shown actually with like trauma, mental health, uh, due to gun violence um, and different things that our young kids are experiencing, especially in the city of Chicago, the arts is just a great way to bring down emotional barriers. And so that's my give back to my community to allow them to have a safe place to come and just express themselves musically. Um, I do theat theatrical workshops. Andrea Kelly uh, did uh, choreography workshops to teach um, the young women to be confident no matter their size. We did a musical workshop to teach them uh, songwriting skills, producing and production. Um, my mother's a pastor, so she did counseling. We did a health and wellness workshop because if I struggle with my weight and my health, I'm like a lot of the kids that don't even have access to fresh fruits and vegetables that are living in food deserts, you know, need this knowledge. So we we talk about all of that. Um, and so I, it's something I'm very proud, something I'm very passionate about. I don't talk about it too much because it's just the work that we do and we've been doing since 2013. Um, I am on the task force for Robin Kelly, who is our state senator in Illinois. Um, I work with Kim Fox, our attorney general. I do a lot of town halls just to bring recognition to my nonprofit and just the city in general. You know, we deal with so much gun violence, carjackings. Um, it's, it's really, that's my heart. You know what I mean? And, and so thank you for letting me share that. Yeah, no, I love that. And I love to share with others too, because I think that's a beautiful thing just to know that and that you have a heart for your city and your people. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank and could you, you yeah. yeah. Could you speak a little bit about your husband's um, company too, the wellness and music? Is he still doing that? Oh, the My Music for Kids. So mm -hmm. yeah, that was <laughs> That was started because we have three kids that, mm. oh God, they do not like to go to sleep. Like when we say it's time for bedtime routine and like, let's get ready for night night. They give us pushback. They're like falling out. They want to stay up. So my husband, he plays the piano. He started to, you know, he would, it started off him just playing the piano and the kids getting sleepy. And then it's turned into him researching what music does to the brain and white noise and the BPM and all this, all this, you know, fascinating stuff and how music affects the brain. And he created this sound system called My Music for Kids. And when I tell you, like, I have videos in my phone from like when Anaya, my now four-year-old, was like crying as a baby and we put the music on and she literally like went to sleep. Um, when I tell you we use it as well, uh, you could tell Alexa, it's available on all platforms. Tell Alexa, play music by Ralph Pittman Jr. That music, if you are ever having a night of struggling, like put that on, you will be knocked out by like, you probably won't make it to the third song. I usually don't make it past the second song. Wow. It oh, really works. Good. It really that works. Is. So it is, we got to get good rest So we, so he developed it. It was a passion project. Again, we put it out, we use it on our kids and I mean, we love it and it's available. So yeah, I would love for people to support. Definitely try it. Let me know if you try it, let me know what you think. Cause I've had a couple of people who have like sleep insomnia and just you know, whatever they take melatonin and all this. And they have definitely hit me up. Like, yo, I don't know. What did he put in that? <laughs> like Look at this. It's crazy. Okay. I'm so proud of him. Oh, that's beautiful. And I have an Alexa too. I can't say her name too loud or else she'll turn on, but I'm going to oh. tell her. 
Yes. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so just a couple of um, questions and then I'll, I'll let you go. But um, what do you have coming up? I know that you are an actress. I loved you from the game. That was like my Thank first you. kind of um, knowledge of you. My um, college friends and I, we always love that um, season of the game. Yay. So I love that. But you have some other like movies or any um, acting and projects coming up? Definitely. Um, I just finished a uh, Raptor project. I'm starting another film next month. I am actually excited though, because I'm doing music, which, you know, is something new for me. So I get really nervous and excited because I don't know, people may know that I've done music my whole life, but I just never really had the success in it. Um, and I feel like now after everything I've been through, I'm like, it's time to put all of this into my music. So I am pouring all of it, all the hurt, the pain, the tears, the joy, the healing. It's it's energy. And I am so excited. So I'm actually dropping my first single in a few weeks. So I would love to send it to you. But I'm like, I've been putting snippets out on my social media and the response has been so incredible. So like, it's music time. That's what I'm doing. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm guessing, is this Ralph that's coming on or? Is he? I don't I see a Gabriella. Oh, Gabriella, that's our publicist. Okay. Um hey Gabriella. Hi, how are you? I'm just here in the background. Okay. Great. Yeah, so we're almost at the end. I just have one more question. And if you feel free, if you want to add anything else that you wanted to, you know, kind of highlight or make sure it's shared. But my like final question would be what would you like, you know, viewers to know? What would you like even your critics to know or think about in terms of um, you and Ralph and just your family and living life in the spotlight? Oh my gosh, just have grace, you know, continue to be open and continue to just get to know us. I mean, we're super authentic and vulnerable. And I just really hope that through our journey and our challenges, people are inspired. That is really all you know um divorce is always easy but for us that's not a choice I think when you get married you take your vows very seriously and we're showing what that work looks like and so I encourage other people if you're in a relationship want to be married want to be in a relationship whatever it might be find a good counselor period find a good counselor we all need it <laughs> individually and collectively very true. I love that. Thank you so much, Drew. Thank you. It was amazing yes. me talking with you. We'll have to do it again with Ralph when he's yes, he that'd be great. run out of town. He had an emergency, so definitely. Um, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great no talking. No problem. You. you too. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your summer. And um, we look forward to just publicizing this and, you know, sharing more of you with the world. So thank you also Absolutely. for the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And music. We got to get on music, Gabriella. So we got to yeah. make sure you get that. That would be great. Awesome. Okay, well, you enjoy, and this should hopefully be out um, between this weekend and Monday, but um, our Sheen awesome. editors will be in contact with your people as well. Awesome. Thank All you. Right, Drew. No Take problem. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.